Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tanushri Pandey, an obstetrician and gynecologist and also known as Gyni Guru on Instagram. Do follow. Welcome back on She The People TV and today we are dealing with a very pertinent topic, something that we've questioned as menstruators all the time, confused, perturbed. So the choice is between the menstrual cup or the tampon. Now, you know, there are a wide variety of period products that are available in the market today. And we're sticking to the menstrual cup versus the tampon today because, you know, these are the two common types which are both somewhat inserted in the vaginal canal. And that's why we should draw a, a comparison or rather, you know, what are the pros and cons of each one of them. So let's first talk about the menstrual cup. Uh, of course, it's in vogue these days and suddenly the awareness is increasing. Even though, rather surprisingly, the tampon and menstrual cup were discovered or invented during the same time, the same year almost. But because the tampon, a lot of companies were making it, it was very profitable because, you know, it's, a, it's not, most of them are not reusable, they are disposable. So that means more generation, more production and as a com company, you profit more. And that's the reason why menstrual cups were sort of not uh, targeted or not advertised enough and tampons and the other period products got a lot of advertisement. So then now when suddenly the whole ecosystem has become a problem and you know we are trying to uh, save our planet finally and we don't want plastic generation, we, don't, we want to only create limited biodegradable waste. And that is when the menstrual cup again came back and people started discussing the menstrual cup. Because we are well aware that tons of uh, non-degradable or hazardous waste that a menstruator produces in her time frame of, you know, from menarche to menopause because of the sanitary napkins, or the baths, or the tampons that we discard. And that's why the need of the menstrual cup, which can be used for years if used properly, you know. On an average, one menstrual cup almost has a life of 8 to 10 years if used properly. So that gives us, a, it's um, eco-friendly, it's reusable, very cheap cost, very cost effective, can be used for years. Now, because it's a cup and it collects blood rather than absorbing it. So there are two plus points because of this. One, it can be used for longer hours. So a tampon can has to be changed every four hours, maximum six hours. A menstrual cup, depending on your blood flow or day of your period, Anywhere between 4 to 6 hours to 12 hours you can keep it. The other plus point is because it's like a cup and you're collecting it, like this menstrual cup here has some markings also and that tells you exactly how much you're bleeding. So you know for people who are having a scanty flow or very heavy flow, you can actually go and tell the doctor that this cycle, you know doctor I measured it from the menstrual cup and this is the amount of in ML that I bled. And that's how we can come to a diagnosis very easily. Because see, you can sometimes change a pad or a tampon when it's half soaked also. And so then it becomes a little irrelevant how many pads or how many tampons in a day did you change. But the menstrual cup is not going to be misleading and you will be easy, easily be able to tell the doctor how much you actually bled. Also, um, it, since it doesn't absorb the blood, you know, lesser chances of toxic shock syndrome. Though even with tampons, it's extremely rare, you know, if you've just left it overnight repeatedly, you're not pro uh, following the protocol of changing it every four to six hours, then say seven to eight and 500 cases have been seen to get uh, toxic shock syndrome. These days it doesn't happen. But still, if at all it has to happen, more chances of it happening with a tampon, almost neg negligible chances with the menstrual cup. Now, what are the cons? So one, you know, lack of awareness. I mean, how many people know about the menstrual cup? Still, still so many chemist shops are not going to sell a cup over the counter. Initially, you face a little bit of struggle with the size, discomfort, you're not very comfortable with, you know, wearing it. Initial discomfort, sometimes you know, slight infection might happen. You might be using a smaller cup, a bigger cup. So some patience is needed. Then after that, not all menstruators all the time are well equipped to you know clean the cup every time that they're removing it sometimes you're using public toilet sometimes you're on the move and then what do you do where do you wash your cup properly where do you wash your hands properly and in that case it's better to use something disposable so that 
lesser chances of infection. Also proper awareness that in between cycles you need to sterilize your cup. You need to boil it at least for 5 minutes between cycles. Make sure it's stored in a clean dry place. All those things also need to be properly taken care of otherwise it can lead to an infection. Now very rare thing that can happen say the studies the cohort study shows seven women reported it in thousand women. When you are using an intrauterine device like a copper tea sometimes the suction that is created with the menstrual cup it can pull it out or dislodge it. Now that can become a problem because then you'll have to go to the gynecologist to get it removed. Hence always you know you should sort of pop off the suction before taking it out of your vagina canal. But that's a very rare thing. Doesn't happen but it's been reported so we need to discuss it. Now on the plus side for the tampons they're disposable so you know no headache of washing it, cleaning it, storing it, use it through it. Nowadays lots of brands have launched biodegradable versions as well which are much better than the plastic ones that you know used to not get degraded easily. Also people are more comfortable with it. You change it every 4-5 hours. There's no there's no jhanjhat of you know washing it then being worried about sometimes you know you can forget it. It can leak. So though there can be a leakage with the tampon and the menstrual cup both. But with the tampon you know we are more aware of it that okay my cycle this is the you know I have to change it every 2 hours or 3 hours or 4 hours. Sometimes the cup can leak and you might not realize. So these are small little things but if you are a tampon user especially as a gynecologist I must advise you all that do give the menstrual cup a try. Because not only is it going to benefit you but it's also going to benefit the ecosystem in the long run. So if you have any doubts do ask in the comments below and I hope this video was informative and helpful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.